Here we are, South Mountain, Sunday morning. Haven't been here in a while. Still only have my cross-country bike to ride. Now that my wheel bearing issue, I gotta wait to see what's up with that so I can get back on that bike. But this is a good place for the cross-country. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while, so this should be fun. I know this place is a little bit soggy. It stays a little bit soggy, but we'll manage. My plans are maybe to ride up on the Lenape Trail, you know, head south on that. That's one of the tougher ones. And just see, uh, see what I want to do today. It's a nice day. Feeling like summertime. West Orange always gives me great feelings. Always good memories living here years ago. Not that the memories were the best, but something about it just feels good coming back. All padded up just in case. Yeah, all that, that fast riding on that downhill with George, it pushed a bunch of, it pushed pressure out of my tires. So that's good to know. I guess it's only common sense, right? All the pounding, only a, a pound or two. Yesterday I was all out of whack. I hadn't ridden, you know, you know, decent trails in a while. I was thinking about some of those spots I missed with George that I should have gotten with no problem. Like I keep telling myself, I need more, more years of just muscle memory to remember how to do all this without thinking about it, especially when I go away from it for a little while. In other words, not ride a challenging trail for a while. Then you just go back into that automatic mode of what you need to do. Yeah, bunch of muddy spots in here. I felt pretty decent on the bike yesterday, energy-wise and all that. I feel a little sluggish today. Back felt decent yesterday. Today felt like it wanted to go out all morning, every movement I made.
these trails over here are just fun. I just like them. You guys oh thank you I thought I forgot the GoPro this morning. My heart dropped. I was going to be all depressed, all ready to uh, just deal with not having it. <laughs> and then there it was. That might be worse than not having my Garmin. I to record the ride. I enjoy it so much. Go home, watch the video. Just fun. Whatever makes you happy. Still playing with the software. Yeah, so software, or, you know, settings, I have it, I've been, uh, yesterday was, you know, 4K with 25 frames. Today I put it to back to 30 because, because the, the action was just seeming, the action just seemed too, too abrupt. It seemed too abrupt with all the fast movement yesterday. You know, so if there's more pictures per, you know, section per second, It'll be a little smoother, we know that. But with too many pictures, too many frames, it looks too smooth and unrealistic. If, if that's even possible, but it is. Like some guys use 60 frames per second. And it becomes really smooth. I mean, you want it smooth, but you want it somewhat realistic, so. I keep teetering back. <laughs> now riding slow, 25 I think is nice. So, or if there's not gonna be a lot of bumps and stuff like that, 25 works good. So you're kind of splitting hairs, but after a while, you start to be able to tell the difference. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Wow, you're great. <laughs> oh, thank you, yes. All paid it up, though, just... Yes, thank you. Brave. I don't know what she meant by brave, but uh, heading on. Did something look unusual compared to what she's used to seeing? I don't know. I have my helmet on. Yeah, make sure I have all my stuff on. So I have a helmet on. Now I could have not had my helmet on and had forgot. And that's what she was seeing. That would be definitely brave. That would be stupid. <laughs> stupid it would be. This section, this section used to always scare me. I got a little better with the off camber and that's helped a lot. And what are we going here? Oh, it goes up over here. I can't remember all this. Hmm, a lot of hikers. There's their group I saw. 
Hello. How are you guys? Good, good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Trying to be safe. I look good, that's great, right? I don't know what that means either. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe because I was making it through some of those spots. Could that be what it meant? Yeah, South Mountain is just fun. I know, uh, Jordan, you live over here. This is your backyard. But it's just fun. I'm glad I have so many places that I choose from. It keeps them all fresh. All right, so here's where I always get into trouble. So I want to continue. I want to continue straight. I don't think that's where I get into trouble, but. And then when I get to the choices up here, because you have the orange and then you have the green. Good morning. Yeah, George, my free hub in the back doesn't scream. It need it when it gets that noisy. It needs to be white, gre greased again, re-greased. You really need to be doing that like monthly. But it was a kind of a high pitch sound. And I think this bike has a little bit of a high pitch sound anyway, but. It was, uh, and you take it apart, you just see the old grease in there. It's all black. So I have, you know, the DT Swiss is what's inside, even though they're Roval wheels. DT Swiss is what makes the insides for Roval, which is specialized. And they have like this white, this white grease they recommend. Yeah, so right there on that off camera, I would have been scared to do what I just did. Got a little better with my off cameras. So I put the white grease in. So we'll see if that gets black or you know what the deal is with that over time. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Another set of hikers. Hands are a little bit numb again. All right, so we're still trying to go straight across, stay in this orange. More hikers. Hello. How are you guys? Ah, oh, nice and cool still for a little while. <laughs> Have a good day. I don't remember all this downhill, but we're continuing straight across. I remember a lot of things in here because I, I come here so infrequent, I forget what's what.
more hikers. Hiker. Hello. Thank you. All by myself today. Thanks. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And the second to wake up here. All right, so we have something going to the right. So is this where I always muff things up? Let me just take a look at the map here. Is this where I always muff things up? GoPro, stop recording. All right, I just turned it right back on. Yeah, so I, I want to go straight here. I think sometimes maybe I'm, I bear to the right, and that would take me down, I think, to the areas where at least I don't want to go today. It's a fun spot over there. You go along the water. There's a nice uh, tricky section. Oh, how much fun mountain biking is. Makes us so goddamn happy. All of us. The better you get, the more you like it. The happier you get, the more you want to do it. You start buying all kinds of things and bikes. And look what I did my first year. Three bikes in the first six months. Went crazy with it. I'm trying to keep looking ahead. Learn to look ahead a little further. Yeah, so there I picked this, the, the smallest part of that log, like the lowest part. All right, so now I'm back to a road I didn't want to be on. So let's take a peek. GoPro, stop recording. It looks like that right-hander to stay on the orange is what I wanted to do back there. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to make a right here and go back and hit a couple of those trails. I believe this is how I could do it. I got a, I have glasses on today. Well, they're, they're kind of light sunglasses. They darken up just a little bit. All right, so let's see if we can figure out. GoPro stop recording. I think if I had taken that right, I would have come out to my right and I would have continued down here. So let's go down here and see. Ah, oh, just trying to find my way today. Thanks again. I don't remember this. The turtle back. I have a feeling this is going to bring me to that other trail that I talked about. Hmm. Right, so let me just see what we have here. So there's something going to the left here. Is, is that what I want? I think that's what I want. Yes, I think this is that little trail. Take out my hands a little bit. Really numb. Really numb.
All right, just trying to see what we have up here. Yeah, so up there, some off camber roots. That's what I remember up there. I can try them from over here. That's quite off camber. Get it right here. Yeah. That was definitely tricky. Both hands on the bars, because I am always have the brakes covered. It makes it harder. Yeah. That's challenging in there. Yeah, oh, hands are all numb. George, this is where I have to take you. It's just so fun in here. All right, we will meet halfway like we talked about. All right, so we're trying to figure out where I'm at. And up here might even be the halfway spot. <laughs> this parking lot here, just a couple of miles north of where Milburn entrance is, on that Cherry Lane. You know, it goes through the South Mountain Reservation on the paved road. All right, let's, so to the right is going to go out to the cars. I want to go to the left. Yes, you want to go over here and to the left. Yeah, so this is just a little climb. You missed the beginning of it. I had the camera off. Now we're going to cross that big walkway by South Orange Avenue goes over. Yeah, this is drying out nicely now. After today, it'll probably be really nice. Hello. Hi. 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 That's water rain. <laughs> ah, circles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who has the better way. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro stop recording.